Hi everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, I will discuss a problem that is how to find the largest number that is not a perfect square. Now let's have a look at the problem statement. Given n integers, we have to find the largest number that is not a perfect square. As print minus one, if there is no number that is not a perfect square. Now let's clear with the examples. In the first example, we have taken input as a is equal to 16, 20, 25, 2, 3, 10. The output should be 20 as it is the largest number that is not a perfect square among all the non-perfect square numbers. And in the second example, we have taken input as a is equal to 16, 36, 64. The output should be minus 1 as there is no number which is not a perfect square. Now let us know the solution of the problem. In the first step, we have to traverse each element of an array and compare every time with the maximum element. Then we will store the maximum of all non-perfect squares. And finally, we will return the number stored in a maximum. Now let's know the implementation of the problem. The first user defined function that is called is largest non-perfect square number which takes two parameters that is integer array and another one is integer variable and inside the function we initialize minus one to max i integer variable and inside the for loop we scan each elements to check whether it is non-perfect square number or not using check function it is called and inside the check function we store integer variable d with the square root of n using if condition we check whether it is a non-perfect square number or not if it is so then we return true otherwise we return false and after if condition we check for a maximum element which is then updated after every check function which is called for every elements then finally we return the max i element which is the maximum of the non-perfect square Otherwise, we return the minus 1 if there is no number which is not a perfect square. So that's all. Here the time complexity is b of n since there is only one for loop which is required to traverse each elements. Thank you for watching this video. Please leave us your likes and comments below.